What up, y'all? Welcome back to Sexton Accountability. I wanna talk about nicotine today, so let's get right into it. I think nicotine is one of the most overrated substances. I think that the reward that you get from it is very fleeting and minimal after you do it for a long time. And I think it's just overall fucking whack, okay? So, but look, I'm not gonna sit here and bullshit and act like I didn't vape for a long time and I didn't smoke cigarettes because I did both. Sometimes at the same time, I would have a vape and I would smoke cigarettes, okay? That's straight up fucking gnarly. Anyways, let's get right into it. So an issue that I see is teenagers are starting to vape right out of the gate. All right, so they're not smoking cigarettes, they're just vaping. And honestly, I do think that vaping is a form of harm reduction when it comes to people that are smoking like a fucking pack a day of Marlboro Reds or like, you know, Newports or some shit. Like I understand that, I, I, I don't know, I'm not a doctor, but I would assume that that's a little bit better. But when you just start right out of the gate with vaping, I don't think that's healthy. It's part of our culture at this point. So kids that go to high school or maybe even middle school are vaping nicotine and it's just part of the culture it's very normalized unfortunately it's setting kids up for failure because and look we can recover from everything we can address every discrepancy in this world so i'm not trying to be negative i'm just saying as far as emotionally it will put you in a position to where you are compromised because when you have a hard time when you have a challenging experience when you have a negative emotion immediately what your brain goes to is, oh, I want to vape, because it becomes this, this negative self-soothing habit. And then what ends up happening is people lack emotional regulation because of that. And then the stimulant effects can cause impulsivity. So you're doing things impulsively, and this can create behavioral issues. This doesn't just apply to, to nicotine. It applies to cannabis. It applies to alcohol. It applies to pretty much every single substance, okay? And I understand that you know nicotine is viewed as benign. I'm in support of people in recovery using nicotine as a form of harm reduction. Look, like I'm just being completely fucking honest. I just think that basically on a cultural level, it's very, very unhealthy that kids are starting to vape you know, right out of the gate. Okay. And so, like I said, that creates a unhealthy emotional regulation or lack of emotional regulation and impulsivity. All right. And then what happens is most likely, you know, an elder, a parent, an authority figure finds out that they're vaping. And then now they are getting, you know, told you need to stop. They're getting what they perceive as ju they're being judged. They're being hated on and you know, all this shit. OK, so that creates more issues. And for a lot of people, it will create, you know, this urge to rebel more. And then that's when a lot of people can actually get into more stuff because they're like, you know what, fuck it. You know, they're hating on me. They're telling me they don't understand. They don't know what it's like to be me. They don't know what the, how I struggle and like the things that I'm dealing with. And you know, they're adults, so they don't get it. And so then it's like, well, then now I'm gonna do more. You know, a lot, that's how a lot of people think is like, you know, fuck authority. I'm going to do more now. And you look, I'll show them. All right. So that is really the only reason that I'm bringing up like the teenage thing is because it's just, I think that it, it it's kind of a unhealthy place to start. Um, do I think that it's a little bit better than like doing hard drugs? Yes. Um, I, I do to be comp completely honest and look, let me just shift it here for a second. Um, and I'll talk about really just my opinion when it comes to the harm reduction side of nicotine. So, like I said earlier, I do I do feel that people that are smoking a pack a day and they switch to vaping, that I think that that's just inherently better. Um, like I said, there's still a lot of you know data to be gathered when it comes to this stuff. You know, there was a lot of issues with some older vape juice because of the um, vitamin E and uh, you know just different forms of these different juices basically that was causing issues and popcorn lung and stuff like that. So I understand that it's just in my personal opinion, which is I'm not an expert by any means, but I just think that obviously it seems like you're not combusting anything. So that seems inherently safer, but then you get into the issue of having liquid in your lungs and that's um, even worse because that can lead to things like pneumonia um, and put people in positions to where they're on a fucking ventilator and shit. So I, I can't really speak on it that much other than my honest per perception or perspective. Um, so that's, that's my take on that. And I wanna briefly talk about people in recovery that are using nicotine, okay? So I'm someone, I use nicotine the first four years of my recovery. Now the last four years I haven't, and I've noticed a lot of benefits Overall, just my anxiety levels are at an all time low because I'm not consuming a stimulant. You know what I'm saying? And so, look, I have no moral issue with people consuming nicotine. 
I do think it's hypocritical. A lot of people that consume nicotine hate on other substances. Um, and it doesn't really make sense to me, but look, that's another subject. Anyways, I think that, you know, if you're trying to quit opiates, benzos, you know, meth, coke, crack, whatever, that, you know, it's not that big of a deal if you're consuming nicotine while you're recovering. I don't have an issue with that at all. Um, do I think that it, in the long run, it doesn't actually help at all? Yes. Um, I don't think it helps. I think it makes it worse. I think it makes anxiety worse. I think it contributes to dehydration, uh, you know, just being jittery, racing thoughts, all that stuff. I think that nicotine is one of these things that gives you the illusion of relief, but it actually is causing more problems, point blank. But with that being said, as I mentioned earlier, I do support people that use nicotine in recovery. All right, I'm not gonna hate on that. So let's talk about quitting nicotine. All right, for the people out there that are smoking cigs or that are vaping and they wanna quit or maybe they're being told they have to quit by their parents or something like that, let's, let's talk about it, all right? Let's talk about it. So when it comes to quitting substances, I, I basically never encourage people to do it cold turkey except for when it comes to nicotine and cannabis. And I, I would say inhalants as well, but really just nicotine and cannabis are the first things that come to mind. So when quitting nicotine, I think it's about quitting cold turkey, getting that nicotine out of your system, and then giving yourself time to recover and to feel better. You're gonna feel kind of shitty, but it's not long lasting. The cravings can last longer if you don't implement some sort of positive coping skill, but look, we'll talk about that later. So basically, I think if you get through the first 72 hours, then you're kind of out of the woods and then you will, you will start to feel better. The withdrawal symptoms can be, there's various withdrawal symptoms. A lot of them are just anxiety. Um, some people experience cold sweats, jitters, um, issues with appetite not being there, or their appetite comes back really strong because nicotine can be appetite uh, suppressant. So look, I mean, dude, it's just one of these things to where when you take like a, you know, when you try to like go down in nicotine concentration, a lot of people, they just end up, it draws it out really long and then they, they may kick it back up. So that's an issue, I think. A lot of people will switch to nicotine gum and then they just chew nicotine gum for years. A lot of people will do patches and stuff like that. You know, a lot of people will try to smoke half a cigarette and then they're smoking a whole one and then they're, it's like, dude, if you wanna quit, if you're really ready to quit or you have to, then just do it cold turkey, bro. Give yourself time, drink water, drink water, eat food, try to get an adequate sleep. If you feel up to it, do some cardio, all right? And then now I'll touch on the things that, you know, can help or mitigate withdrawal symptoms, okay? So it's gonna be things that give you naturally stimulating endorphins. So things like cold showers, okay? Cold plunges, swimming in cold water, all right? These are the things that will give you stimulating endorphins. Another thing, as I mentioned, is cardio, doing, doing cardio, breathing exercises, all right? Breathing exercises. Do some journaling, write down how you feel, write down why you're doing it, write down what you wanna get out of it. Do some affirmations, tell yourself that I'm strong, I'm recovering, I am making it through this, I am effectively quitting nicotine. I know that seems corny, bro, but the power of words, dude, words are powerful, all right? So affirm what you want while also acknowledging what you don't want, all right? So think about that. Think about what you don't want. Think about how you're feeling and affirm the opposite of that. You're feeling like shit, say, I'm healing, I'm recovering, I'm feeling better by the minute, okay? So affirm the opposite of the negative things you're feeling. That's really it, dude. That's all I gotta say, y'all. Nicotine, pretty whack, dude. Like if you keep vaping nicotine or smoking ciggies or whatever long enough, you know, Usually you're like, oh, I get my morning buzz. You can get to a point to where you don't even get the morning buzz. So why the fuck are you doing it? There's no point, bro. There's no, the risk and reward ratio is just out of fucking whack, all right? So that's my honest opinion. Much love. If you're interested in what I do, I'm an accountability consultant or coach, if you will, and I offer my services on a monthly basis. So if you are interested, check out my website, sextonaccountability.com. You can sign up for a free consultation and I would love to talk to you, all right? Much love, y'all. Be easy. Fuck nicotine. <laughs>